Hey guys, what's going on? Signac here for back with some more MC Majin tutorials. It's been a long time since I've done this. Um, let me explain real fast. If you do not already know what MC Majin is, it's a mod maker that I made myself. I programmed it um, for making Minecraft mods without having to do any coding yourself. So it saves. I originally created it for myself and other modders to save time. It kind of works if you don't know how to program too. But, I mean, it's a little complicated and intimidating. Probably not as intimidating as actually coding yourself. No, it is easy to pick up, but it's a little complicated. But, I'm just going to dive right in here. And I'm just going to redo all the... What I'm putting out is a redoing... Redoing. A redone version of all the tutorials. Because it's been a long time since I've done it. So, we're starting out. We're going to redo my first block. So, we're going to create a new block. This first field is the block name. This is what um, the game's going to use Minecraft is to identify that block by. So I'm just going to call it um, my first block. The format of this does not matter. Okay, here's what important. I'll put up the help here. You can not put spaces in it. That's important. Or periods, or really any special characters like um, percentage signs, asterisks, things like that. You can't use any of that. And that's about pretty much just characters and letters. Like, characters and letters. <laughs> letters and numbers. I don't know why I said that. Just the standard ones. And you'll be fine. No spaces. This is not what the player is going to see in the game, though. So, that's what this is. The tooltip. Tooltip's a little more lenient. You can have spaces in it. And I think I allow some special characters here, but not a lot. Alright. So, we're just going to call this my first block. And I'm just make sure I didn't write it. I don't have any other rules there. The texture path is where it's going to be stored. Now I'm bringing this up so you can see it. I called this project. I thought I had this. Oh yeah, I have it here. MC Majin tutorial. MC Majin underscore one two five tutorial. So all my textures are going to be stored under a folder called exactly that. In um the Minecraft jar. That's where it's going to be looking for them. You can change this manually in the code, but this is the easiest way to do it for me as a developer to avoid plugin conflicts. Okay, there's some things like, um, there's nothing, don't try, put a slash for it, do not try to go back folder, which would be like dot dot slash, that doesn't work, but I don't think you can do that in Java anyway, I'm not really sure how that works in Java, and do add the image extension, lots of you will have, if you, especially if you're using a Windows 7 or, actually I think they added an XP even, yeah, cause, yeah, I think my old XP, I, I had trouble turning it off, I don't know. It's been in a while, but if you're on a Windows, I don't think it was default on XP was the thing. But I think it started becoming default on Vista. Um, you won't have file extensions, so like your file won't be like um, my file dot PNG things like that. You're gonna want to use PNG graphics for this. If you're not using PNG graphics, go start using them because it is the best by far. It maintains the highest quality. And it maintains transparency. So I'm just gonna say this is gonna be under my blocks folder. Well, actually not. I'm just this is gonna be a small mod. I'm just gonna call it block.png. That's gonna be my graphic. That's it. Block drop. This is what this block is going to drop whenever it's destroyed. I believe. It's been a long time. So I've done this. Yeah. Leave. Uh, I don't want it to drop anything by itself. You almost will always leave this blank. But sometimes you will. Drop them out. Let's go ahead and set that to 1. And we'll go over here. Hardness. This is how long it's going to take to break the block. And it's going to vary a little bit depending on what tool you're using and stuff. But this is how long. And I think the max is 10. And 11, I think, is the durability of um, Bedrock. I think that's how I programmed it. And so let's make it pretty weak. Let's do a 4. Resistance is how good it's going to be against explosions. Now, my numbers might be wrong here. This is an older version of Minecraft. I grabbed these from. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10 are all those. 2,000 was Obsidian. I think the 600 or 6 million was Bedrock. Which I don't understand why it was 6 million. It was just a really big number that the developers put in when Notch was programming. But let's make this just really weak to explosions. So I said the drop mount. Block ID. This is pretty important here. Now, this has been extended, um, I think it got extended at 1.2.5, actually. So, but it may be coming to 1.3. I 
I'm not really sure anymore, but this is um, your block ID. This is going to have to be above the Minecraft blocks, which I think go up to about 120 now. They, they keep adding more, so. <laughs> Yanni! Oh, sorry. They keep adding more, so this is going to need to be somewhere between that and 255. But it's going to be extended, I think it's a 4,096, I mean. This is the light value if it's going to mid any light, and just, uh, let's just do zero. Uh, oh, this is, oh, let me bring the help so you can see it. Goes up to two. This is the max, so you can use the decimal point. Drop type is a block, because it's going to be dropping itself, which is going to be a block and not an item. Um, Is it going to be affected by gravity? Nah. Material, let's make it rock, so you, you should mine it with a pickaxe. Um, let's, let's not have it, well, let's have it generate just for the sake of example. Rarity, um, zero, I believe it won't spawn, and three, yeah, I just mirrored the regular ones. So three will be just as rare as colas. This is how many you're going to average in each vein, so I'm just going to do something crazy, like 15. Great class. Block out of here. I didn't get any errors, so we did it all correctly. So there you go, guys. That's how you add your first block. And thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.